Hi, my name is Gar Skaysbrook, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to block countries from visiting your Shopify store. So I've got three links for you. The first two are both apps in the Shopify store. So let's have a look at those. So the first one's called GeoLizer. And um, what it does, let's have a look here, is it does four, four different things. You've got currency conversion, if you don't already have that. It's got notifications, pop-ups, and redirects. And so to explain that, the, the currency conversion, you can get apps specifically for that. And what that does is, let's say you're in the US, it will have the US dollars. Let's say you're in Australia, it will show Australian dollars. And um, it will still check out at whatever uh, currency is set up in your store, but it will display the, uh, depending on where they're from, it will display the correct currency for that. So that's what currency conversion is. Then you get notifications. So this will, um, normally they appear at the top of the, the screen on a bar and they'll um, give you information regarding uh, which countries. It might be things like um, you might provide free shipping in one country and then you might say spend over $35 or $55 to get uh, free shipping in another country. Uh, then you've got pop-ups and also redirects. And pop-ups is simply just a pop-up on the screen asking you whether you want to go to a different store. Uh, and the redirects, what that does is depending on where they're from, it redirects to different landing pages on your own store or or can actually redirect to another store. So for example, if you don't want to uh, receive traffic from like a particular country, you want to block them, you can redirect them and send them to Google, for example, and that way they will never see your store. Uh, and it might be because you don't want that traffic from that country, maybe you don't ship to that country, so there's no point in um, allowing traffic to come there. Also, these um, some places where people want to take um, a copy of your store and take, um, especially if you're doing designs, they possibly people can come along and take those designs off your store and recreate those and sell those. Um, so that's an example why a lot of people do that. So you've basically got notifications widgets, a pop-up widget, currency widget, redirect, and they've also got an API. Uh, they've got a demo store that you can check out and the reviews are very good for it. So that one there is pretty good. I have not used that one myself, but it's um, a lot of people have recommended it. And that one's $10 a month and you get a free trial. Okay, so the second option is this one. It's a little bit cheaper, it's $7.50, uh, and you get a free trial for 15 days. So what this one does is redirection. Uh, it can do, this one's a little bit interesting. It it basically does the um, unlimited redirects. So you can, depending on which country they come from, you can redirect them to either um, a certain page or another link, just like the other one. Uh, and also you've got different display options. You can have a top bar and also a, um, a, a pop-up box as well. And so that's, it doesn't have all the, the extra features with the currency, uh, and, um, but it it does have just the, the basics of the, the redirects for the, for the country redirects. So that's a, a good solution. That one's only got three, three stars, so it's pretty new. Um, I can't say whether it works or not, but the, it has got um, five stars from those people that have tried it. But, you know, you've got a 15-day um, trial, so it doesn't matter. You can, if you can't get it up and running in 15 days, and then, you know, you can always um, just remove it from your store. Now, the last one, this was the choice um, black belt commerce after doing investigations when on our two different stores that we um we have we use this uh code i didn't want to pay the monthly rate so what we did was we set up the this one here and the way this one works it's a little bit more complicated you actually got to know how to put the code in there is instructions on how to do it but it's not like an app where you just plug and play this one you actually got to put the code in the correct place in your template so if you're not very familiar with that you can get someone to do it for you, um, or perhaps you can pay these guys to do it for you. But essentially, it'll detect where you're from and then say, do you want to go to the local store? And it comes with a, uh, also with a pop-up mode, and um, you can say, yes, I want to go to this store, or no thanks. Uh, and basically, it allows you to work like these different versions of it, but it can also link the actual um, pages, like the URLs for your store. So if they go in on one URL, they then can go 
uh, transfer to another store and go to that same product page. So they might land on a, um, let's say a UK, but they really need to go to the US. And instead of just going to the um, the main store page, it will actually go to the same page that we're on. So it's got a demo of it and money back guarantee on that one, but that's the one we purchased. And um, it took me probably a few hours to put that in. And I think at the time we're doing this video, it's $57 for the basic version, which is what I did, but you can get a 97 and $117 version as well. So there's a few options for you uh, for doing that, but that's the, the best way to block countries from Shopify, Shopify store. If you've got any questions, drop them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much. Catch you next time. Bye.